Vargas recording a live from the Vargas Vault uh, to share with you yet another fabulous collection pickup video. Um, I went to pick up uh, some stuff that I've got from Movie Freak Bazaar. So they are a bunch of movies. Uh. <laughs> and my wife just made a special cameo. <laughs> um, so yeah, there was there were some things I left behind uh, last week and some new things I got this week. Plus some other stuff that I I'm I'm very proud and happy that I got. Uh, one I got, one was actually uh, uh, found by my wife. My wife, my beautiful wife, we just you just saw, uh, actually got one of these things for me. So um, yeah, I, I I wanted to share with you guys. So first off, for for a good good while now, uh, for way too long now, I have been on the hunt for wrestling belts. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or know me personally, you know I, I really, really mark out for wrestling. Um, not as much as I used to. I've mentioned this before. Uh, I usually get into wrestling during Royal Rumble because that's the road to WrestleMania. That's when usually, for the most part, uh, WWE puts out all the stops and gets the ball going on their storylines. And, you know, it all culminates, uh, for the most part, in WrestleMania. So I've loved wrestling since uh, before WrestleMania 1, uh, when Hogan uh, showcased. So uh, I like, and I do hunt for the DVDs, which are very, very hard to find. You would be surprised how hard it is to find the wrestling DVDs. Um, but when I do, I, uh, or when I come across them, I buy them. But the other thing that I like are the belts. You know, they're the championship belts. They're the things that... Uh, represent the greatest superstar of the moment, uh, whether it be Hulk Hogan, uh, The Undertaker, John Cena. Uh, a champion is the one that's basically the figurehead of uh, the wrestling uh, events. And you have, of course, the World Heavyweight Champion, and then you have the Intercontinental, the U United States Champion, the Tag Teams, and uh, the Wrestling Gold uh, is something that I, I really like. And I do want to collect. Uh, I do want to get the belts. But uh, the really awesome replica belts uh, at the WWE store are freaking expensive. Uh, obviously, you pay for the quality. Uh, they could go from 300 bucks, the really cool ones, to 100 bucks, the plastic replicas. And then, of course, you have the Mattel uh, toy belts, which are 20 bucks. And uh, I have to prioritize. You know, uh, my family comes first. Then uh, I have to save money to change it into dollars so I can get my comic books, and then I buy movies. So I'm not, I can't blow twenty bucks on a new belt. It's just something I can't afford, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and in the flea markets, it's really hard to come across a belt. It really is. I never come across a belt except one. And uh, but this week I came across a United States Championship. Belt. This is uh, the one of the Mattel uh, belts. This is uh, Fox leather, Fox uh, or fake leather, and uh, it doesn't have one of the uh, things here. The the, uh, the official United States Championship has uh, another strap here, uh, but again, this is just a the, the cheapest uh, belt you can get. Uh, the Mattel belts for 20 bucks, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy I found it, because I, I have, the only other belt that I have found before is this little uh, kid's belt, which uh, looked bigger when I ordered it online, but it's it's really puny compared to, to this one. And uh, the, the, the quality on this is pretty cool, but yeah, it's 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 designed for a really small kid. And this one is also for a kid, but the size is a lot better. And, uh, yeah, this is the uh, United States belt. This is the first design, because the second design uh, has more white on the logo, and this one has gold. So, yeah. And the United States Championship has had a lot of different designs. Uh, the, there's a spinner belt that John Cena came out with, because he really liked the spinner belts, but... Really happy to have this, and I'm, I'm going to keep this and this one, unless we give it away, uh, it's going to be, be for my daughter, because why not? Now, uh, uh, one of my favorite belts 
ever. It's like my favorite belt ever is the Eagle Belt. Every time I think of a wrestling champion, the Eagle Belt always comes to mind. And I was able to find one of these uh, Jack's Pacific belts. The only other belt I've ever found is this Jack Jack's Pacific uh, big gold belt. But now I found the Jack's Pacific Eagle Belt, and this is by far my favorite uh, belt design of all time. I I love the Eagle Belt. Uh, it just when I think of WWE, I always picture the Eagle Belt. Uh, it, you know, all the major champions back in the day were fighting for this, and I, I freaking love the Eagle Belt. It's 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 it, it has like little rubber foam thing. It, it, it's not uh, pleather, uh, and it is uh, slightly smaller. It's it's the same size as the big gold belt. But the scale is relatively smaller. But it's my favorite all-time design, and I'm super happy to get it. So I got this, and my wife went to a flea market, and she says, like, uh, I'm, I'm in a, a place, uh, you know, in a stand, and they have a belt. It has an eagle design. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh, get it for me, please. And she did get it for me, and it's another eagle belt. Uh, this is the Mattel belt, and this is the Jack Specific belt. So, you can tell that uh, this one's bigger. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this one's bigger than the Jack's belt. Yes, it's easy. And uh, uh, my wife's telling me that she got it for me. And yes, yes, you did. I, I just mentioned that. <laughs> and... Uh, this uh, this is the eagle belt. Also uh, has pleather here, uh, has reinforcements on the back, and uh, now I have two eagle belts, which is awesome. Uh, this is a smaller size, and this is a bigger size, and I, I I love it. I like this one a little better. It has it looks more more better, and uh, it's bigger in comparison. Let's compare the two. Yeah, as you can see, this one's this one's smaller, and this one's bigger. This one looks a, a lot. Uh, you know, if, if I ever go out uh, in a wrestling costume, this is the one I'm going to wear because it looks cool. Uh, the plastic's a lot harder. Uh, it, it's just awesome. And uh, I've been talking for <laughs> about wrestling belts for like eight minutes, but uh, I'm super hyped that my wife got this one for me because this is, again, my favorite, all-time favorite uh, wrestling belt design. And uh, I will wear this proudly. And if I can find a display case for it, I will do so. Uh, but really, really awesome. And I, I still want to get a couple more belts, much to the uh, dismay of my wife. My wife doesn't want me to uh, buy any more belts. But I would like to get the uh, WWE Universal belt, which is uh, the W belt, but with a red leather strap. I like it just because it stands out, because it's red. Um, and uh, the WWE W belt uh, that's in SmackDown right now. Obviously, I would prefer the Universal belt because, again, the, the red color makes it pop. And uh, the other one uh, is, is there. But that's, that's the only other belt I would like. So, yeah. Uh, let's change subject because I've been talking for about belts for a while. Uh, like I said, I went to Boomy Freak Bazaar and I picked up something I left behind last week and stuff I picked up this week. So, first thing, you won't be able to tell because it's... Uh, it's a black logo on a black cover, but uh, this is uh, the soundtrack. Ooh, you can you got some videoception there. That's weird. Uh, you have uh, I bought the soundtrack for The Empire Strikes Back. Now this I found out later on that this was part of a box set that had uh, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. And a fourth disc that had uh, additional songs. Uh, so yeah, but uh, still, uh, The Empire Strikes Back. It, it's my, my for nostalgic reason, my all-time favorite movie is Return of the Jedi. For nostalgic reasons. But the, my favorite movie is Empire Strikes Back because I feel it's a better made movie. And uh, I like the soundtrack of all the Star Wars uh, movies. And I, I am trying to get all the soundtracks for the movies. So I'm super hyped that I got the soundtrack for uh, Empire Strikes Back. So that's pretty cool. I still need to work on that. Now, on some movies, it won't be that loud, so I won't bore you too much. But I picked up American Splendor. 
Uh, this is actually a comic book based movie. It's about this uh, this comic book independent comic book artist that was on the David Letterman show a, a couple of times, and uh, it's basically the story of of his life of uh, of everything that he went through. Uh, he you know, uh, found a, a wife that's also very eccentric, like him, and he has this really eccentric friend, and, uh, Paul Giamatti is, gives a great performance in this. It's, it's a really quirky, offbeat movie, and it's my kind of movie, so, uh, if you've never seen American Splendor, I would definitely recommend that. Uh, also, I'm sad to say I don't own, uh, any of John Candy's big movies, and I, I, I grew up watching John Candy a lot in the 80s, uh, he popped up in a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I want to get Cool Runnings. I want to get Uncle Buck. One of the movies of him that I was missing was The Great Outdoors. Uh, John Candy really, really is a really was and because uh, he passed away a, a number of years ago. A really good actor in movies. Uh, he was in Spaceballs. Uh, really, really cool actor. And I, I, I do wish I could find more of his movies, but uh, I, I buy them as I come across them. Also, um, Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite uh, Disney cartoons. Didn't much care for the Tim Burton uh, adaptation. And it's been adapted in a whole bunch of things. But I found another version of Alice in Wonderland. Now, I thought I had seen this on TV. But, uh, but I was confusing it with another version that had a blonde-haired girl. And this one uh, has a, a brunette. But uh, I like the story of Alice in Wonderland, so... I picked it up, but I picked it up thinking it was the other one. Uh, picked up The X-Files, the first X-Files movie, Fight the Future. Um, I don't remember in between what seasons uh, this movie takes place, but I used to watch, like a lot of people uh, in the 90s, used to watch The X-Files, and I was hooked because I liked uh, the format of the show. And uh, when the movie came out, I didn't have a chance to see it, so I've actually never seen this movie. But I'm looking forward to checking it out. Also picked up a uh, Mission Impossible 2. It doesn't say on the uh, box, but this is actually a two-disc set for Mission Impossible 2. Um, I was missing Mission Impossible 2. I have 1 and 3, but I didn't have 2. And it was an extra surprise that that one came in a two-disc set. Also picked up uh, Anime, Samurai X Reflection. A really cool double cover there. Uh, this is in the future of the Samurai uh, X timeline. Uh, Kenshin is already married, and uh, he goes into one last mission, and unfortunately, uh, things don't don't end well, which is uh, kind of sad. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil every, but it's it's really sad because the uh, if you watch the TV show. Um, the OVAs, Truth, uh, Trust, and Betrayal are really, really, really cool. Uh, they're they're really dark. They're really violent. Uh, they're some of my favorite OVAs. Uh, and the Kenshin TV show is a little bit more lighthearted. And uh, the movie's also the same thing. And, and this finalizes that uh, in a very depressing way, actually. But given, given uh, Kenshin's past, it's... Also, the real only the real, really the only way that it could end, um, but yeah, it kind of bumped me out. Uh, a movie I've been looking for a long, long time is David Lynch's Mulholland Drive. Uh, I've been trying to get this movie for the longest time, and I finally have it. Uh, it's one of those weird movies that you have to you just have to watch. Uh, I highly recommend Mulholland Drive. I don't want to talk too much about it because. Uh, you know, talking too much about this kind of movie would spoil everything. Uh, to add to my daughter's animation collection, I picked up Puss in Boots. Uh, we were watching this on TV, and it, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, taking, uh, following uh, the Puss in Boots character from Shrek. This has a couple of extra features. Uh, there's also on Netflix um, a TV show of, of, of Puss in Boots. Uh, but I thought it was really cool. I still have to pick up a uh, final chapter. Uh, and lastly, I picked up the unrated edition of Wild Things. I already own Wild Things. So this is the regular edition. And uh, this, uh, the thing is that this one doesn't have any special features, and this one does. Now that's the thing about DVDs that I, I've mentioned before. 
uh, you can have a movie in it, and then it's going to release a, a different version. Because this came out later than this. But this is the theatrical cut with special features. This is the unrated cut uh, with no features. So it's a, technically the same movie, but it has different things. So that's why I do double dip a lot in movies. Because you get a different experience between the extend, unrated, ex extended, or director's cut and your regular theatrical cut. Sometimes the theatrical cut is garbage because there's a lot of uh, uh, studio people uh, dipping their hands in the idea of the uh, scriptwriter or the director, so they have to release something that might be, uh, in their eyes, more popular. And uh, But the director's cut is uh, the true vision of the artist involved, so it's a better movie. Sometimes the opposite happens. Sometimes the theatrical cut is better than the director's cut. Sometimes things work out that way. But I'll make a, a different video on, on that. So yeah, that was the uh, pick a video. Uh, lots of cool things. Best thing is my WWE belt. I love me this belt. And it's, it's a good size. It doesn't look like a kid's toy. It's awesome. I love this belt. And as far as movie recommendations, I, I always, when I remember to do this, I do try to recommend the stuff. If, if you want to see a, a good thriller, uh, but weird, pick, check out Mulholland Drive. I had a, a hell of a time tracking this movie down, but it's a good movie. Weird, but good movie. And if you like anime, check out uh, Rear in the Kitchen. You have to see Trust and Betrayal first uh, before you see this. But it's, it's a good anime. I, but of course, I'm a mark for anything uh, that has to do with samurai. So, so yeah. So, uh, that's the this pickup video, guys. Sorry if I uh, made it a, a bit longer talking about the belt. But you know me. When I get excited about something, I just like talking about it. But uh, I'm getting the video now before <laughs> I make a half an hour long video. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks so much for supporting my channel. To those who actually watch my videos and leave a comment, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you, you are the reason that I keep this going because honestly, my I, my channel's not you know very popular. Uh, but I like sharing the stuff that I pick up, and you know if someone watches it and enjoys it, cool. But uh, this is Vargas uh, filming from the Vargas Vault, thanking you all and signing out.